We don't want service members not being able to receive hazard pay. We need military construction projects. We need to address threats from uh, our two, uh, you know, the, the biggest elephants in the room, the co-elephants. I don't know what Russia's doing in Ukraine and I, I don't, or outside Ukraine. I don't, I don't know what China is going to do with Taiwan. So these need to get done. You think that is, this is going to get done this week or will it be tied to the debt limit before the end of the month? Yeah, great question. I hope it's not. Uh, I'm pretty confident that the debt ceiling will be lifted in on time for a couple reasons. It seems like the discussions between Leader McConnell, Leader Schumer are pretty positive, at least my sense from the White House is that they're confident that they will get that done. And of course, they've always got the backup since they have the House, Senate and the White House Democrats can pass a reconciliation bill and do it themselves. So feel uh, pretty confident there. On the NDAA, I agree with you. Crucial we get it done and get it done this year. There are some outstanding issues left in the Senate. Feels like, uh, again, from the House side, uh, feels like they're making progress on there. I don't know what the timing is on there, but there shouldn't be, uh, a, there shouldn't be a major roadblock to getting the National Defense Authorization Act done before Christmas. And it, does that need to get done before the Democrats move to try to, uh, to do the, the, what they're calling a, a, basically a $2 trillion Build Back Better bill? Yes. So it seems to me, again, you know, this is all being negotiated in secret, so I don't know. In the bill now, uh, we hear from the Committee for the Responsible uh, Federal Budget closer to a $5 trillion true cost of that bill. But it looks like uh, they're not going to finish their work till next year. Uh, at least that's what we are hearing uh, from the Senate side of things. And uh, for the most part, they ought to be slowing this down, given the economy, given inflation, given the fact we're not getting people back to work. My view is the Senate ought to suspend that consideration to build back better till we see if the president can really get a handle on healing the economy.